Hi everybody, Samantha here from Holistic Wellness. I hope you're all doing well. Last week I posted a video called Detox Made Easy and I shared my tips and strategies out how you can detoxify effectively and that you don't necessarily need to run out and buy these detox kits in order to detoxify. It should really start with the food that you're eating and adding in really good quality organic food and eliminating all the processed food and the junk in order to assist your body in detoxifying. So today what I'm going to do is just expand a little bit more on what you should eat. And I'm going to give you some meal ideas. And these are basically meal ideas that, meals that I eat regularly and all the time because we detoxify every single day. And so I really want to assist my body in getting rid of those toxins, those those environmental toxins. Um, we're exposed to so many different toxins. So I really want to keep my body um, functioning optimally so that those toxins can get flushed out of my system every single day. And it's so easy to, to do that just with the foods that you're eating. So for breakfast, I would suggest starting with a smoothie, a green smoothie. I love mixing cucumber, romaine lettuce, some spinach or kale with some frozen raspberries or blueberries. I add in some chia seeds to get the additional fiber and the omegas. Plus I also add in some hemp seeds as well. You can also add in some spirulina or some chlorella powder. Amazing, powerful greens because they actually detoxify heavy metals. So they can flush those metals, those heavy metals out of your system and they provide your body with so many minerals and antioxidants and some really great plant-based protein as well. So you can throw that into your blender with your other fruits and vegetables and some water and then just blend that up and drink it. And then um, I also love to have a juice. If you prefer to not have a smoothie and to maybe make a juice, I would suggest juicing some cucumber, romaine, celery, lemon, ginger, and maybe half an apple. And then once you've juiced everything, you can then also add in the spirulina or the chlorella into your juice and just give that a stir. So that's an amazing way to start your day. And you are going to just get load your body with so many vitamins and minerals and you're going to alkalize your body and it's just going to feel so amazing. And then moving on to lunch, I would keep it light. So some organic mixed greens, maybe some pumpkin seeds or sunflower seeds and walnuts and almonds. And you can definitely have some protein as well. You can do some vegetarian protein, maybe some grilled tempeh, grilled organic tempeh. Um, maybe some grilled chicken or some poached fish like salmon um, and you just want to keep it light you don't want to overdo it with like heavy sauces or dressings um, poaching is a really great way to um, flavor your food and you avoid um, having to over season it with like a lot of heavy sauces or anything like that so um, you can poach your chicken with some fresh thyme and rosemary and some lemon and um, um, you can do the same with your salmon as well or, or maybe you want to grill it I mean really it's your choice just um, keep it really light and for your salad dressing I would just do something like some really great quality organic extra virgin olive oil and some fresh lemon juice and maybe some fresh um, herbs or some dried herbs and just keep it really light and then moving on to dinner your dinner should basically be similar to your lunch and if weight loss is your goal, then I would actually keep carbohydrate intake um, earlier in the day. You want to keep your carbs, maybe you want to eat those with maybe your breakfast or your lunch. So maybe you want to have a little side of quinoa or some sweet potato with your lunch. Um, otherwise, you can eat, if weight loss isn't really uh, your goal, then have a little bit of carbohydrates with your dinner. So have the quinoa or the sweet potato with your dinner. And actually having the carbohydrates at nighttime can assist your body's ability to produce melatonin. And that's really effective because we're going to be going to bed and we want to have a really deep sound sleep and we really want that melatonin production. Um, and also if you've worked out later in the day, like for myself, I do work out um, sort of around five or six o'clock in the evening. And so having a little bit of carbohydrate intake once you've worked out um, is very important. So um, with my meals, sometimes I'll have a little bit of carbs, um, but that depends if, if I've worked out or not.
So that's a really simple, um, those are just some really simple meal ideas of what you can include during a day of detoxifying. And you can just follow these meal ideas every single day and keep doing this for, um, you know, a good week or two. And you're going to start shifting those hormones and the insulin to be, um, to work more effectively for you. You'll feel more balanced, you're, you'll gain more clarity, and you will alkalize your body. And most importantly, you're going to be flushing out the toxins from your body. So very effective um, ways to detox with just your food, with just these simple meal ideas. Um, for snacks, I would include nuts and seeds, maybe a little bit of almond butter on some uh, on an apple or on some celery and just keep it light. Make sure that you drink a lot of water because the water obviously is not only going to hydrate you, but it's going to help flush those toxins out of the bowels. So get anywhere from three to four liters of water a day and try to include those superfoods like the spir uh, spirulina or the chlorella. Also, I would include a really high quality probiotic because the probiotic is going to help keep all that good bacteria alive in your intestinal system. And that's very, very important because we can really overcrowd the intestinal system with bad bacteria from a lot of sugar and processed foods. So it's so important to get those probiotics into your diet. And I would also include a high quality fish oil supplement as well. Fish oil is going to help to lubricate your joints, um, protect you against heart disease, balance hormones, and it's also going to um, make your skin and your hair and your nails um, beautiful and your hair shiny and your skin nice and clean, uh, clear. So take, um, try and take those supplements, try and include some of those meal ideas while you're detoxifying, and um, maybe you just start with one meal. Maybe you just start with the breakfast smoothie and then, you know, you start including um, more greens and then maybe you start switching over your meat sources to more organic and antibiotic and hormone free. So these are just simple changes you can make in your diet and um, just focusing on eating clean and keeping it light while you're detoxifying. You're going to feel amazing in no time. I promise you. So please share your questions or your comments with me. I would love to hear from you. You can find me on Facebook, on Twitter, and of course you can find me on my website, holisticwellness.ca. Thanks so much. I hope you have a fabulous day and happy detoxing.